Hello everybody and welcome to Logical Machines Tutorials. This tutorial will go over the S4 quick start for the smart mode of our machine. Thank you for viewing. So the very first thing that we want to do is power up our Logical Controller 2, the switch being just under the right hand side of the control box. Once that has been done, we want to add product to our machine. Uh, about six fills will work. We're using coffee beans in this demonstration today. We want to make sure that we have a catch bin underneath or actual containers to fill. The next thing that we need to do is verify some information. So what we're going to do is press number two for setup, number one to edit this job, and then the down arrow to verify that the target has been entered correctly, whatever your target may be. We're using 0 0.750 or 12 ounces. Um, once that has been verified, we can press the home button and return to the home screen. The next thing we want to verify is that we are in automatic mode. So we want to press number two for setup, number two to edit modes, and the very first line will tell us mode equals, and we just want to verify that that says auto. If it does not say auto, you can press the number one button, and that will cycle the machine into automatic mode. Once that's been done, we can press the home button. The final thing we need to do is under the utilities menu, we can press number three, and then number three will say learn is off. We want to activate that by pressing number three, and you'll notice that it changes to learn is on. Now I know you can't see that right now because we're just not close enough to the controller, but once that has been verified that it is on, we can press the home button. Now all we have to do to utilize the smart mode is press the foot switch. The very first run will be quite slow as the machine is optimizing for accuracy during this run. And once we've reached within our target range, we are going to start the second phase. Now the smart mode feature will start adding speed into this. You'll notice that the vibrator does come up in power throughout this test. And we've reached our target. Now the third run is a final optimization of accuracy and speed. And there we are. This concludes the smart mode tutorial from Logical Machines. Thank you very much for watching everyone.